Good morning and welcome to the Killick and Co Market Update. Following the problems that we've had with Credit Suisse and Silicon Valley Bank over the last couple of weeks, there have been some questions over whether central banks around the world would continue to raise interest rates. However, this week we have had interest rate rises from the Federal Reserve, the Bank of England and the European Central Bank. So clearly there is still a view that more needs to be done to get inflation under control. However, if we look at the dot plot that is created by the Federal Reserve, it does appear to show that we are getting close to the peak level of interest rates. The dot plot is created by asking the voting members of the Federal Reserve where they expect rates to be this year, next year, the year after, and then over the longer term. The text on here is a little bit small, but on the collection of dots on the left, you can see where the voting members think rates will be this year. The dots are mostly clustered around the 5.1% level, implying there could only be one more 0.25% rate rise before rates start to fall again. And then the dot clusters for after this year are all a lot lower, suggesting that interest rates will start to fall. And here in the UK, we've had some changes to our inflation basket, which is the list of products that's thought to represent what the average person is spending their money on. So on the top level here, we've got things that have been added to the basket. And on the bottom row, we've got things that have been taken out. So things that have been added, we've got dairy free spread because more people are following a vegan diet. We've got frozen berries because many of us are trying to follow a healthier diet and we're making our own smoothies. We've got surveillance cameras, so that's things like the Google Nest or the, the Ring video doorbell. And then we've got e-bikes. And then things that have been removed are digital cameras. We tend not to buy these separately now because phone cameras are so good on their own. Uh, postage charges, so actually we tend to use a variety of different delivery options and couriers now. So it's actually more that this postage category has been amended. King size cigarettes, because people are now smoking less and quite specifically non-chart CDs bought in store because music streaming has actually taken over. So on the subject of inflation, we had an unexpected rise here in the UK in February. So here's the data over the last year, and you can see we had a nice downward trend from October onwards, but the figure for February was actually up to 10.4%. So hopefully that's just a bump in the road before inflation starts to go down again. And then following the publication of that inflation data this week, the Bank of England decided to announce that it would raise interest rates to 4.25%. So as you can see on this chart, we're now not too far below where we were in 2008. Finally this week, Accenture has become the latest tech firm to announce job cuts, announcing this week that 19,000 jobs are set to go. And that does sound like a very big number, but to put it into context, the firm has actually hired 230,000 people since August 2020. So even after getting rid of 19,000 people, it will still be a much bigger business than it was pre-COVID. The stock responded very well to the announcement, jumping 7% after that news came out. Accenture is a technology consultancy and it's done very well from helping other businesses to implement new technologies. Demand for its services is still very high and the firm has secured a record $22 billion worth of bookings for new business in the three months to this February. So it will continue to hire staff in some key areas. Moving on to have a look at next week. Uh, it's pretty quiet on the corporate calendar, but we are expecting results out from Ocado. That's it from us. Enjoy the weekend and we'll see you next Friday.